you guys doing? Uh, as I deal with my cat digging in her box. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, my name is Audrey and we are doing an empties video of my lovely Disneyland Paris bag here. This is going to be kind of a grab bag version. I didn't split it into categories because I don't feel like laying everything out. Um, real, I don't want to say it's a lazy day because I've been very productive, just real lazy with this. So if you're new here today, I'd love for you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up while you're watching. If you're new to empties videos, basically um, it's empties, it's everything that I've used up, particularly like makeup, skincare, um, that sort of stuff and I give like a little speed review on the product. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First product I'm going to mention is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This has been blowing up on TikTok particularly. This mascara I have deemed as the complete hit or miss mascara. I've had it sometimes where it makes my lashes look great. I've had it sometimes where it does absolutely nothing and it's very clumpy. The only Per, like there are a few things that I will say that make this mascara very good. It is a tubing mascara, so it is waterproof. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, it um, forms to your lashes and then when you take them off, uh, it comes off in little clumps because it's not like it's not gonna run like a normal mascara. Very hit or miss because of those things, but it's good in the aspect that it doesn't smudge and it's a tubing mascara at the drugstore, which is kind of hard to find. This is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I do not like this concealer. I think it looks so crepey under the eyes. It just looks dried out, which is ironic, after you put it on after about like two hours of wear. So would not recommend. There was a time where the Revolution Conceal and Define was like super popular. I think it's time has come and gone, unfortunately for Revolution. This is the Milani Make It Dewy. Um, this was an okay setting spray. I felt like it didn't really enhance my makeup. The experience wasn't very great putting it on. Um, so there's nothing particularly special about it, and I didn't think it made it that dewy. So if you're looking for a dewy setting spray that's not so over the top, like the Maybelline Glass Spray, I would definitely recommend the Revolution Hydrating... I'll pop a... The name of it underneath because I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me but there's one from Revolution that's really really good that I would recommend if you're looking for something kind of dewy but not greasy and over the top. Another mascara this is the Essence Lash Princess Volume this is in the reddish orange tube did not like this it didn't really provide much volume and it was very smudgy not as smudgy as the green tube though I don't know what's happening I used to love the green tube but now it is just like smudge central and I can't do anything about it so would not recommend this particular mascara I am really liking the purple tube though I'm wearing that on my eyes today I'm not very zoomed in so I'm not sure if you'll really be able to make a difference but I like that one another concealer this is the elf hydrating camo concealer absolutely love this if you're looking for a good hydrating concealer definitely go with this um, today I'm wearing a matte concealer I didn't even set it I'm kind of amazed it's the Tarte Shape Tape I did not initially like it because I set it I realized yesterday I didn't have to set it so liking it so far but I love a hydrating concealer so definitely will repurchase this in the future I just have a few concealers to go through first clearly if that was not obvious this is the Becca Spotlight Primer I did not care for this. I don't want to rat on Becca because they are closing up shop, but this product was not as good as it was hyped up to be. It was a decently glowy primer. I thought at first maybe it was a liquid highlight. It could be used as a liquid highlight, but it doesn't really show up that much, so just keep that in mind if you find it at TJ Maxx, because I'm sure once they close shop in September, they'll be at TJ Maxx. Have a ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip if you followed me for any bit of time or know me, this is my, oh yeah, I totally have a pumpkin back there, sorry, I'm so excited. Um, but this is the ColourPop, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I love these. I have a bunch of them to go through though. This was Champagne Mommy, which I hate the name. I don't even know if they still make this because ColourPop loves to discontinue products and all of my faves get discontinued. Just in any brand, that's like always the case for me. So. I loved this. It was like a sparkly peach color, so really, really good. 
Um, I will probably repurchase some sort of ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the future. They're kind of focusing on the luxe lip, but I like this one better. I like the brush tip that it has on there. This is, is this the brown one? I think so. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liner. It's a felt tip liner. Y'all, this was trash. It did not show up. I understand it's a brown liner, but it did not show up. I don't really like felt tips. I don't know what I was getting myself into. There was a Maybelline mascara I borrowed from my friend Jordan once, and or eyeliner, and I cannot remember what it was, but I've been trying to figure out what it was, so I've been going through Maybelline mascaras and coming up with duds. So if you know a good Maybelline liquid liner, please let me know so I can hopefully find that liner. This is the Tom's Natural Strength Sensitive Skin Deodorant. Um, I have very sensitive skin, so like any, even in the regular deodorants, the sensitive doesn't work. Natural deodorants for the most part doesn't work. This one works. It doesn't give me a rash on my arms. Really like it. I think it lasts better than some other natural deodorants, but again, it's a natural deodorant, so you're going to have to reapply it during the day. There's really no way around that, unfortunately, but if you have very sensitive underarms, I definitely recommend this. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I liked this one. I now use the e.l.f. Mint Melt, which I just prefer. I think it's pretty much the same exact formula. The e.l.f. Mint Melt just has a different smell, and I think it's slightly less tacky than this one. Um, this smells like a Jolly Rancher, so if you like the Jolly Rancher scent versus like a mint, maybe you go with this, but they're pretty much the same product. They give you the exact same appearance on the skin and lasting power, which is very long. So I'd recommend this if you like that scent, but if not, I'd go with the, the mint. Now their complexion product, this is my absolute favorite, and I was trying hard to finish my products before repurchasing, but I just couldn't do it. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I use this puppy all the way up. I use the shade 4N, lovely undertone. This gives such a good coverage on your skin now, it's going to be a light coverage, but it looks so glowy and natural that I think this is really perfect, but it still looks like you have you have something on your skin. So I can do the same steps that I usually do with a more full coverage foundation with this, and I really appreciate that. So this is really good in heat. Um, I live in Florida currently. It's humid and hot as all get out. So if you're looking for something that is going to last in the summer heat, this is definitely it. I know we're kind of getting out of summer, but again, if you live in tropical climate or something like Florida, it's hot year round. <laughs> Another Essence mascara. I had a kit, so that's why this is happening. This is the False Lash Effect Mascara Waterproof. Did not like this one either. Again, didn't feel like it did much for my lashes, and I'm not liking the green tube, which is this is the waterproof version of the green tube. So if you're looking for a waterproof mascara, would not recommend this one. I just don't think it's very special. Finally finished the NYX Wonder Stick. I This is shamefully old. I still think they make this though. If you're looking for a drugstore contour, like a contour that's going to be more cool toned, I would recommend this. I don't use, I didn't use the light side, but the bronzer or the contour side was very good. So I would recommend this. It's a cream product. It's very easy to use. You can draw it all over your face and then go in with a brush. You don't have to like quickly do one side and then do that. That would just be too much of a, uh, too much, too hectic. Um, I'm using the Milk Bronzer today. I think that other than tone, this one blends a little bit more easily, but at the same time, that means it can blend away. So definitely keep that in mind. You would, If you use this every day, you would probably go through it quickly, but I've had this for years, and I just now finished it. Two brow products here. <clears throat> the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I bought this per Jessica Braun because she loves this. Um, it was very hard to open. I loved the spoolie on this one. It just felt nice, and it was pretty good. Um, and the pencil itself, I didn't really love the shade. Um, there's pencils I like better. I like the ColourPop pencil better. I also have the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I think that is really good, and I kind of understand the hype. So, mm, not really a fan of this one. And I use shade Soft Brown. It was just very warm. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I used to use this pretty frequently, so I've definitely had a lot of these in my empties videos. I switched over to um, the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Um, the, the brush on this is like very 
grizzly. It kind of hurts going on your eyes, but the color and the product itself is good. But just keep that in mind, the brush is not very comfortable. Some bath salts. We need to talk about these bath salts. Um, you can buy these at Whole Foods or Amazon. I think those are the only two places you can get them. Not that we love to purchase things off Amazon, but I used to work at Whole Foods and I found these through that and these are amazing. I'm using the Dr. Teals and they're nothing like this. It's a sore muscle soak. If you're sore, these really, really work. Like absolutely 10 out of 10 would recommend. They have aromatherapy, we have essential oils in it, but it does definitely, definitely work and do what it says. So it, it is tension relieving. It's eucalyptus, eucalyptic, eucalyptus, clove and peppermint. The clove is a very strong scent. It smells very good. Also, I'm sorry about what I just did. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I actually really like this. The scent is really nice and tropical. I completely cleared it out. Like it's, there's nothing in there. Um, I didn't notice it really doing anything for your butt, for your boom boom, like it's saying so, but um, yeah, it doesn't really tighten. I don't really see that it works, but it smells really nice and it's pretty moisturizing. I have a mini of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the best micellar water that you can get. That's just the fact. Um, I just happen to have a mini size, so. More skincare stuff we have here. Uh, my favorite, the Pixie Glow Tonic. There were three of these in here, so I went through and just cleared it out. We're just going to talk about one. I've talked about this ad nauseum. This is the best glowy toner you can buy. I absolutely love this. If you're looking for a glow, go with the Glow Tonic. The Ordinary Moisturizer. It comes in a nice big tube. It's not something I would recommend. It's very thick moisturizer, but I didn't love it. It didn't feel as hydrating as something that's this thick should feel, so wouldn't really recommend it, but, you know, I don't know what I was going with that. Another product from The Ordinary, this is the Marula Oil. Um, I think Jessica Braun said that this breaks on her. Oh my god, now we're going to take a food break? It was alright. I think I'm going to go with Rose Hip Oil um, for the future, and I have another product that I'm really, really loving from Fourth Ray that isn't actually an oil, it's just a serum. We have the Sephora Hyaluronic Acid Eye Cream. I really like this, but now I'm using the e.l.f. one. I feel like they're pretty much about the same. So if you have Sephora points or something, or you prefer to shop at Sephora, maybe go with this. Um, the e.l.f. one is $7 cheaper. This is $17. The e.l.f. one is $10. So something to keep in mind. They're pretty much the same product. Finally finished up the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I'm not a big fan of Vaseline, but this is the only lip balm I could find when I was in Park City. Yes, this is old. Um, so I went ahead and used this up. It is very hydrating, so that's something to keep in mind, but I finally finished that up. I have a fragrance here from Good Chemistry. This is a brand sold at Target. This is the Wild Child Roller Ball, Roller Ball fragrance. It is kind of woody and floral. It's not something I would repurchase it was because I found two fragrances I prefer to this. I bought one from YSL. I feel so fancy. And there's this one called from Mix Bar called Wood Elixir that I love better. And Wood and um, Mix Bar is also sold at Target. So I'd suggest Mix Bar over uh, Good Chemistry. Back to two makeup products. Another brow product. <laughs> We have the Essence Lash and Brow Mascara. It's just a clear brow gel, that's all I use it for. Uh, lip pencil that I absolutely love. I ended up repurchasing this. This is the, I always confuse this, the Rouge Gel Lip Liner from Sephora. I This is in 01, the nudist. I love this, I repurchased it. I cannot open the one I bought this morning. I was gonna wear it today, but I'm wearing the O2, um, the the next one up from this. I like these lip liners. They're very soft and creamy. They don't last quite as well, but they look really nice and they feel really nice and luxurious going on your lips. I've got some bigger bottles here. All right, so this is the Method Body Wash. I love the Method Body Wash. This was very balanced. This one smelled really good from what I remember. I'm using the green one. I bought that twice in a row. I really like that one. I feel like these just get you clean and I've used a lot of like Bath and Body Works bath wash. It's not good. Like it smells nice, but it's not a good bath wash. This is really, really good. It's a little more expensive than some of the other stuff, but not too expensive. I think it's like seven or eight bucks. So definitely would recommend that. 
except for the blue one. I don't like the blue scent. This is the Bliss Drench and Quench. This is a moisturizer. I use this one all the way up. This is apparently a dupe for the Tatcha moisturizer. Um, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd use that, this again. It had a strong fragrance, so, um, but it was very hydrating. And I would never pay money for the Tatcha because that's not worth it to me. Um, this is the Soap and Glory, the Fab Pour Purifying Foam Cleanser. This used to be my favorite face wash. I since found another one that I like better, but um, I really like it because it's foamy and it suds up. And even though it's for more like acne prone skin, I don't necessarily, I, I don't have acne prone skin, but I think it works really well. And it doesn't really dry you out too much. Speaking of the green tube, there's the Method Body Wash screen tube. This is the Deep Detox uh, Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea. Awesome. St. Ives Soothing Body Lotion Oatmeal and Shea Butter. I didn't find this one particularly special. My favorite body moisturizer is the Trader Joe's of Midsummer Night's Cream. Absolutely great. So far they haven't discontinued it, and I hope to God they don't end up discontinuing it. Getting down to the wire, it's the Milani Glow Gel Cleanser. Uh, not very special. It smelled nice. It smelled like coconut water, but I didn't notice really a difference and it wasn't that glowy. And it felt like it was drying the skin out, so if you're gonna advertise a glow, isn't it supposed to be hydrating? I don't know. This um, is my, so far, I have another Neutrogena one that I'm trying, um, but this is the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. I use this to remove makeup. I think these are really, really good if you're looking for a makeup remover that's not a wipe or a oil or a balm. I'm using a balm right now, but I also have a, they have a milky cleanser now that is also a makeup remover, so I'm going to try that see if I like that even better. Two more makeup products, two more skincare products, and I'm done. Elfless, <sighs> Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Um, this is nice and smoothing. It's not the type of primer I prefer, but if you like a nice smoothing primer, I think that's good. I had a little mini size here. Um, just not something I would purchase again. This is the Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil in Starfire. It was a nice coppery color. I love the 24-7 glide, glide on Eye Pencils, but at this point I like the NYX ones, the Epic Wear. I think you can get away with just using that. It, They're very good eyeliners at the drugstore and they're $8 instead of like 20 something. So, again, keep the price point in mind. If you find a color you like from the Urban Decay, then maybe go for it, but other than that, I don't know. Um, this is the e.l.f. Vitamin C Serum. This is my absolute favorite vitamin C serum of all time. I'm using one from 4th Ray that smells like oranges, but I think I will go back to this because I just love the experience of this one. They changed the tube so it's now in the blue packaging. It used to be white, and I kind of prefer the old one, but they're trying to keep it cohesive, so I get that. And then the last thing I have here is the e.l.f. nope, <laughs> Maybelline Expert Eyes Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover. This is like an oil, and I did not like this. So if you're at the drugstore and you see this, don't buy this. I don't even know if they still make it. It's pretty old. But that is it. I had quite a few empties. Um, I'm going to throw these in the recycling bin, the ones that can be recycled. Um, if you liked this video, again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you keep your empties or do you just automatically get rid of them? I feel like if you don't film a video, you probably just throw your stuff away. Um, I'm sorry if this video is long, but I was trying to actually give some reviews on the products. I feel like sometimes I just go, here's this empty, and give like a five second blurb about it. Um, and definitely some of the products I did that today. So let me know if you like this video down below. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. All right, take care. Bye.